Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson and you are listening to the Squash Butler Diaries podcast. The podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams and she lives in her father's dreams. And last time it was winter and snowy since her father came and he was talking about global warming and she didn't know what that was about. And then he was talking about Santa Claus and remembering his childhood. From here to there, Santa appeared behind him. Because it's his dream. And what happened then? Well, let's find out. Episode 154, Santa, Part 2, Santa Needs Help. Joy's age four and a half, told by the Red Dragon. Little girl, the person who called himself Santa Claus, bent on his knees and held Dragon Lil's hands. She was only four and a half years old, but she looked at him with suspicion. Yes, I am Santa Claus. I know who you are, Joy. She took her hand away. How do you know who I am? Why, I know who all the kids are. I know if they've been good. I know if they've been bad. I know. I am always good, Dragon Lil told him plainly. Why, of course you are, little Joy. I knock bad on his ass and put him in jail. Santa Claus coughed. Why, yes, yes, I know you do. Although I would have phrased that differently. His gaze wandered to look at Dragonfather, who also eyed the man suspiciously and with crossed arms. That is, actually, just in Shelley, it is you that I have come for. Oh, yeah? I have followed your exploits, just as I follow everyone. I know you are the pirate to turn to. Oh, yeah? Regarding what? My list. The list of who's been good and who's been bad. Someone has stolen my list. Who? It's the ice pirates of Mars. I see everything, but I cannot take it back from them. Without the list, I don't remember who gets gifts and who doesn't. Dragonfather seemed relieved. The ice pirates of Mars, yeah, I need to pay them back for the last time. I'll take the case. Joy, you sing this one out, right? Joy nodded. I hate the ice pirates. You go. Joy nodded. I hate the ice pirates. You go. Dragonfather did not seem surprised, although I was. Dragonfather and Dragonlil always go on adventures together. Why was he so sure she would not go? Dragonfather climbed the deck. You two stay on the ship. I'll take the sled if you don't mind. And he jumped onto Santa's sled, which was led by flying red-nosed reindeer. On Blitzen, on Glitzen, on whatever the hell your names are. And with that, the sled was at the horizon faster than even the speed of a dragon like myself. Look at them go, Santa followed the sled with his eyes. Dragon Lil, meanwhile, slid behind him quietly. Can you still see them? They're too small to see now. Do you see the dragons? Santa searched the sky for dragons. Dragon Lil, meanwhile, was able to reach inside the weapons cabinet next to the entrance to the infinite prison. She took her small laser pistol. I don't see any dragons, Lil Joy Shelley. Freeze, Santa! Dragon Lil aimed her pistol at Santa Claus from a distance. He turned around slowly. Raise your hands or I'll fire. Joy, what are you? You may have fooled my father, Santa, but you don't fool me. I'm going to kill you now. And you can guess this is not the end of that adventure. I will tell you the rest tomorrow. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Santa Claus. Um, yes, this is not an ordinary tale of uh, Santa Claus. These people, Joy and Justin, are used to adventure and they're very suspicious of new people. And who knows why she pulled a gun on him and who knows what'll happen next. It's a Santa story, but it's not... But Justin invented this Santa Claus, right? Because that's how the dream works. So, um, let's see what happens next, tomorrow. Santa Part 3, Joy versus Santa. That's not something you expected to hear. Anyway, join us for that tomorrow. And now, the credits. The Squashbuckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. 
All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squashbuckler Diaries more. The Squashbuckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson.com at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N at gmail.com The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hassan and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. <laughs> Thank you.